Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson, we are adding three or four numbers mentally. For example, 9 plus 5 plus 4. And over here too, I'm going to show you that you can add the numbers in any order you wish. For example, if I add 9 and 5 first, 9 plus 5 is 14, so then I would have 14 and 4. And then that is, 4 plus 4 is 8, right? So I get 18. But it does not matter if I add 5 and 4 first. 5 plus 4 is 9. And so then I get 9 plus 9, which is an easy sum because it's one of the addition facts that you should remember. So this is, of course, 18 too. 8 plus 7 plus 8. You can choose if you want to add 7 and 8 together or 8 and 8 together, okay? Now let's say that I add... 8 and 7, so I get 15, and then 15 plus 8. For this, you would add 5 plus 8, that's 13, and then there's one more 10 here, 10 and 13, so we get 23. 6 plus 5 plus 8, again, you can choose in which order to add. If you add these first, then you would have 13 and 6. That's 19, right? If you add these first, you get 11 plus 8. And that's, of course, 19 too. Or if you add 6 and 8 first, you have 14 and then 5, 14 plus 5. If you remember 6 plus 8 better than you remember 5 plus 8, maybe you want to do that. Okay? Just you choose. We get 19. Four numbers. One way to add four numbers would be that you add them in pairs. 2 and 2. Such as, you know, choose two numbers from here to add that seem easy for you to add. I don't know. Maybe you add these two. So we get 13. And then add these two, which is 7. And now we have 13 plus 7. 3 plus 7 is 10, so this makes 20. Over here, I see two numbers that make 10. So those will be easy to add together. Those would make 10. And then these other two, 9 and 6, makes 15. So you get 10 plus 15. And that is 25, right? Those are alligator mouth problems. Or which number is greater? Is this number here, this sum, greater than this one? Okay, why don't you solve them first? Pause the video. Here we have 5 plus 7, that's 12. And then 12 plus 8 makes 20. On this side, 9 plus 4. Oh, hold on, maybe I'll add 4 plus 4 first. That's 8. And 8 and 9 is one of our addition facts. 8 and 9 is 17. So now it's easy to see. 20 is, of course, greater than 17. And then 2 plus 9 plus 6 plus 5. Okay. 6 and 5 makes 11. This one also makes 11, so I have two 11s. 22. And then over here, this makes 10. This makes 14. 14 and 10 is 24. So 22 here, 24 there. 24 is greater. Then we have a special guest for our program. Giganta, come on. He's sometimes a little shy. So, anyway, say hi. Hi. Matthew and Giganto gathered seashells. And one bucket had 13 and another had 16. And Matthew had nine shells in his hands. How many seashells did they find? Okay, they shared them evenly. That's good. How many did each get? Okay, let's see if we can solve this problem. They gathered this many seashells, 13 and 16 and 9. And we, of course, need to add those numbers. Let me write them here and see if we can find some easy way to add these three numbers. 13, 16 and 9. In parts, again, you can add 3 and 6 and then 10, 10, 9, you know? Okay, 3 and 6 makes 9. And then there's another 9, right? 
And then I have the 10 from 13 and another 10 from 16. Would that be correct? And then, well, we are adding this, okay? 9 and 9 makes 18. And so 10 and 10 and 18, can you do that? 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 8 would be 38. Right? Now, they share them evenly. How many did each get? You know, I think this is a little bit challenging problem. But let's see. I want to give you an easier problem first. You know, 38 is pretty close to 40, isn't it? 40 is a very easy number to work with. Let's say they had 40 seashells and they share them evenly. How many would each get? 20, of course. Right. So we have solved that problem. But this is 38. It's not 40. It's 38. It's 2 less than 40. So if they share these evenly, think. If it had been 40 seashells, each one would have gotten 20, 20 and 20. But it's two seashells less. So each one of them gets one seashell less than 20, right? One less than 20 is 19. There we go. Oh, and lastly, we have still one more puzzle. I wanted to give you one more puzzle because you did so well in the last video, right? Seven plus something makes four. Giganto, do you want to solve this? Come on. Yeah, 7 plus 3? No, 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 not 3. No, you're not subtracting. 7 plus something makes 4, but, but since there isn't any number like that, we need to think of the regrouping, that it's actually 14. 7 plus 7, yes, makes 14. And then? Well, no, 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 Giganta, no, that's not like that way. Try again. Aha. Uh -huh. There you go. Good boy. We're all done with this lesson.